Greetings, Battle Gardeners. I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Number two. We're gonna just start out with a good old fashioned sadness that I have to protect plants. A thon. Eh, maybe it won't be too hard. What do you guys got? Oh! Only Gigantors! Okay, no, that's fine. Great way to start off the day, I think. You jerks. Oh my god, what is all this garbage? <laughs> Well, guess we'll put this here, and I'll wait to plant to figure out what row a jerk is on. All right, there is more than just Gigantors. <laughs> it's a little bit better. Not by much, though. Well, that should take care of all that, but I want a solid row of uh, pea shooters here. All right, there's the first Gigantor. Uh, now do I use, I'm trying to decide whether I use the, um, this is, I'll use its plant flower, flower, yeah. Let's see how much damage this does. It doesn't seem to do a lot of damage at all, actually. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. But, um, I mean it might have. And we got double pea shooter here, yeah. So that'll take care of that imp. I did not mean to use plant food there, but I guess that's fine. It will kill the Gigantors, though. Yeah! Just have... There, we got a full row of peas, and I'll keep on adding to that. Let's put a layer of mines. Double pea shooter. Oh, let's have one on the bottom. Hmm. Guess I'll use this because it should hit two giant jerks. I am fine with that. All right, imp destroyed. Maybe I should have put those the uh, the mines like one step back just because they're throwing them over the imps pretty frequently. Ah, let's blast the imp away. Blast, and then get his friend. All right, the the powered up. Uh, what are they? The pea pods. Very good, as I'm sure you all know. It does quite a bit of damage. In fact, let's just concentrate on this Gigantor and then this Gigantor. Awesome. Definitely enough to take them down to half. But since they're individual shots, they, they potentially might do more than half. Oh. There we go. Imp done. So this wasn't nearly as bad as it looked. I mean, it was just... It was very scary looking, right? I think these are also, um, medieval Gigantors, so we'll be seeing- at least he is. He's got, like, the medieval helmet, yeah. My enemies fall before me, just like always. Blap, blap, blap. Wow. Nothing. Ooh! Got a little sunglasses for my foom shroom. Anytime something seems bad, I just gotta remember. I now have the foom shroom. And I've wanted that for a while. To play this long into Plants vs. Zombies without it, I think, quite frankly, ridiculous. So how's this going? Oh, we're blooming. Back to Bloomington. Bloomingdales. Blueberoo. Man, I'm already getting a powered up squash. I haven't even used it once ever. Well, maybe in pinatas, but I've never owned the squash before and I haven't played since I bought it, so. Yep. Final, final is final, final plant from gems. Acquired. I shall now use it to crush my enemies. Might as well make it premiere now, yeah? Yep. Now, again, dark ages, sun does not fall from the sky. Behooves you to have delicious sun shrooms as they take less to is. And I wasn't going to use the, um... Well, I got the sun bean at some point. I wasn't going to use uh, the gold bloom for these stages, but since I'm already using a powered up pea shooter, I might as well just do it anyway. For now, in any case. We're going to show it, and then we need constant damage from something. Something that isn't boring. Let's just use these guys, because I'm going to presumably produce a crap ton of sun, and I think I can afford to have an entire row of them. So we got this. And I was certainly expecting there to be gravestones, and yet I still didn't take the grave busters up. Kind of a mental lapse there. 
Oh, there's the gravestone. Now I see you. Um, I gotta decide where to put the pea shooters too. Hmm. Guess we'll put them here. Here. Let's put them. Let's put them here. Well, all right. <laughs> As I was deciding that, I probably should have realized that he had already walked past that. But then I can have the bonk shows behind that, so he's just gonna die, and it doesn't matter. Um. I'm also going to use a plant food on this just to get more sun right away. Yeah. And I thought I slowed this down. Stop. Damn it! I guess my concentration... And I just recorded another uh, 20XX and I did really, really badly. So yeah, my concentration is probably just shot for whatever reason right now. Oh well. It happens. Uh, and I wanted... Yeah, I wanted to row here. Me -ne 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 -ne. He looks really weird when he's using that plant food power. Oh no. It's just like, it feels like he's also shooting peas out of his butt. That's what I think. That's what I'm envisioning. It's not my fault that I see these things. I see the truth. So you want people with really high level... I mean, when did I get the sunbeam? I don't remember getting those. You want people with really high levels of health to get the sunbeam. Because the more health they have, the more sun they drop. So he's gonna drop a total, I think it's like 600 sun for those guys. And if you have something that kills them easily, they drop all the sun at once. Uh, so he, you know, he just dropped a bunch of his because he took a bunch of damage. I could just crush him. I could crush him under my boot. Under my squash, to be more precise. So yeah, that was a good investment for 50. And if you power up the sunbeam, it's even more hilarious. Uh, well, maybe you'll see one day. Maybe you... <laughs> Let's see if anyone even gets to this guy with the citron there. They might not. Power up that full row. And stompy, 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 stompy. I'm gonna power up another one, actually. So you'll see the true power of the sunbeam. Feel the wrath of my power! So look how much sun that was. Again, with the helmet guys, the, the like, medieval helmet guys, it's even more, because they have more helmet than the bucket heads. Alright, so we got a full row of defensive dudes in, uh, in water, water, life vests, life jikats, for no reason. <laughs> I don't think these guys are going to go anywhere near the water anytime soon. Maybe eventually. Now, do these things blow away gravestones, or does it stop on grave? Nope, blows away gravestones. Good to know. <laughs> and right as the necromancy started. Cool. I prevented a few imps from spawning. Not that I could have gonna have uh, taken care of him, but it's nice to not have to. Oh, 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 you don't get the prize. He almost got the prize, but he didn't get the prize. Yeah, we're, we're wrapping up here. Oh, will you get the prize? Think he's gonna get the prize. Didn't get the prize. <laughs> well, that was useless. But, you know, citrons, man. Citrons. See, I shouldn't be using I shouldn't be using the gold bloom here. I mean, this was cool. That certainly helps, but it was a lot of it a lot of it was the gold bloom. Also, I have to go all the way up to day 15 to get the magnet shroom, which is a great plant for pretty much every world, not just this one, but this one definitely. All right, they're giving me the plants. What are you giving me? A uh, pretty boring assortment, to be honest. Mm. And I'll make do. Let's just get my mushroom grid up. So that's all of my beginning mushrooms. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna hypnotize him. Send him back at the gravestones. Yeah. All right, good. So now he's on my side. He should die down there, and I should get a bunch of sun. And I, since these things don't go all the way, I maybe should have put them a little bit farther out, but meh. <laughs> maybe I'll put another row up here, because they do double up pretty nicely. And then I could actually have an entire other row of sun back here, because I don't think I'm going to double back. Doubling forward is fine, but... And you are enough to kill someone before you get to him, right? Yes, just enough. So that means I probably also want this, because that won't be enough to kill 
my uh, cone-headed friend here. Although, alternative to that, there we go. <laughs> Let's just send him away. Tell him, we don't want none. You can just go and pedal your crazy zombie to somewhere else. I think that's an option. So bucket head. Let's have this guy eat a sunbeam. Now, if someone eats a sunbeam and then you hypnotize them, they do not release the sun. Okay. I just needed to know that real quick. Uh, you go away. <laughs> Sands your head. We're going to make the second Foom Shroom row and start with all this. Oh! He's being damaged by the other zombie. So he's dropping the sun. So in a way there's a purpose to, like if the, the zombies that you possess die, it looks like you do get the sun. But possessing them does not initially do damage to them, so you don't get the sun for that. I get it now. This guy's about to get it. Abam! I think this entire row just needs to step off. Blast the pound plant poof power is so good. I leaves it. Got this, we got this. Yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much a mushroom extravaganza right here. Mostly mushroom match. The uh, MMM, the triple M I call them. I frequently have said that. No one can prove me wrong. Uh... <laughs> they broke through my walnut and I was just like, I don't know what to do in this situation. That is a problem. You go away. And you eat this. It'll calm you down. <laughs> It'll make you consider other dietary choices. Which, you know, I bet he wishes he considered another dietary choice. Because you're going to be fine until you run into any one of your friends. In which case, cannibal! Not to be confused with cannabis. No! Oh my! Maybe his face will look way less creepy that way because the tile tune-up is a creepy looking plant. Sorry to say. Whew, I love it when ads don't break my audio. Hopefully it's still the case. So we're going to get to the midpoint very soon, aren't we? Aren't we? I've detected carafes containing chemical compounds of Melovin's makeup. Can you translate that into Crazy Dave talk for me? There are evil potions on the lawn. Evil medieval potions? That's the most dangerous kind. On account of having twice the evil. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You're just lucky you're not facing a quadra-evil situation. So on this stage, which I'm going to take several things to instantly kill zombies, <laughs> um, zombies can, um, they, they take those little potions that are gone. Not taking that, because I said I want it. Um, they take potions and they become either more durable or stronger or faster, and if they get all three of them, they get all three. So... It's a problem. Also, there's these guys, which really sucks. Um, I think I might actually. I'll try the. I'll try the hurricane. We'll give it a try here. Um, these wouldn't be a bad idea because they pierce and the the flippy guys can't switch them. These wouldn't be a bad idea, but I certainly need a defender, don't I? Let's actually go with these guys. I haven't used them in a while. All right, let's try this out. I remember these stages being a little bit hard. Also, I should have taken the grave buster. It's hard for me to remember that, which is not good, because it's kind of important. New potions also pop up, so zombies will eat them and they'll get replaced. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Let's see what type of potion that is, first of all. Oh, I really I need something to destroy these, uh, these gravestones. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here, honestly. <laughs> like, this first guy's going to take me out. Uh... I need, I need plant food so that I can blow them up and this gravestone to make up for it. That, I still won't be even though, will I? Uh. Alright, well it looks like he was just like more durable maybe, so we'll just try this for now. See how it works out. <laughs> Keep building sun. Let's hope, hope things don't, oh he's gonna be a problem. 
Yep, he is a problem. Great, I just knocked him into another potion. That's wonderful. So he's a monstrosity. Uh, eh. Got some of the sun back for that. Yeah, no, I don't know what I was thinking with this item setup either. This is not the best. <laughs> Got that. Um, all right, well, let's have my first damaging plant. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Let's reclaim a tiny bit of sun here. All right, my plants are starting to grow, though, so we're going to be in a situation where I can actually be useful. But is it too late is the question. <laughs> Uh, give me sun. That's what we need. All right, good. So first, <laughs> first long-range offensive plant growing. Got this, and you defend here. Yeah, these are kind of anti-synergistic though, because this is a close-range plant, and I'm using something to knock it back to make it not close-range. So not the best. Let's just reset you two right into a potion. Uh, all right. How about? Oh, that was would have been the perfect place, and a potion just appeared there. But that's fine. <laughs> I'll just get one of them. Second laser guy in the bottom. That should be a help. And uh, we'll wait on using that. Oh, there's a potion there. Come on. I'll wait for him to get that and then blow it up. Because then the potion will be out of the way, and I can I can actually plant something there. <laughs> Oh, come on, you actually have to get the potion. I, I want you to. There we are. I didn't need to blow him up, though. I think he would have died. Uh, nope. <laughs> they really are dying right before they get to me, so that's something. Um, oh my, that should give me some sun. Excellent. More lasers. And, yeah, more lasers. That'll work. <laughs> I just have nothing hard defending top. There we go. That yeah, this this was a bad idea. That well, I don't know. At least those do a little bit of damage. But if I was gonna bring the uh, snapdragons, maybe shouldn't have done something that knocked them away so they wouldn't damage my opponents. But good, got my laser grid up. This is useless probably for the time being. So we're gonna delete that. Did he? No, I don't think he actually hit anyone. So he didn't waste any of his life. Speed it up. Well, it looks like these guys are coming slow. We're just gonna kill this row. I don't think I'm gonna be able to deal with that helmet zombie very easily. And let's kill this row. Yeah, I'd say instant kill things are pretty good on the stage, because regular zombies can get out of control sometimes. I don't know if there any of the speed potions exist here, because I thought I'm pretty sure there's also speed potions, but I haven't seen any zombies just rush ahead of me, so. We're, we'll double release. We'll double way to it. That'd be bad. My mouth is mush. Nice. Right. Got you. Got you. Cool. Think we're good. <laughs> Wasn't even using my plant food there, was I? Pow. Um, meh. Meh. <laughs> Can't eat potions without a head, fool. Uh-oh. A scrawl. Alright, and sit yeah, I'm not gonna get that magnet stream this level. But I will get the halfway point. User Dave, you've encountered a scroll. I love side scrollers! That's my second favorite type of game. This is not a game. It's a piece of parchment bearing a message. Oh, will ya look at that? It's Dark Age email. Neato! Let's see. By decree of Lord Zombies. Uh, lease, leave, thought, brain on thy stoop. So I guess they're just asking me to leave, leave my brains on, on outside of my house. I'm sick of zombies not working for their brains. They're just, they're just writing letters now. Well met, not very noble lord. 
It is my fervent medical opinion that your humorous are out of balance. Methinks the siphoning of thy brains is the only way to correct this ailment. Fare thee well, Dr. Edgar Zombos. Hey, I prefer my humors and my brains unbalanced. Because I'm crazy! Well, fair enough. <laughs> I don't think that was sound medical advice anyway, Dave, so I wouldn't worry about it. Alright. This is dupe. Good old foom shrooms. Nothing beats them. Except for a bunch of things. Maybe not a bunch of things, but some things. Depends on the sitch. Which, as I understand it, is short for situation. It's looking pretty good so far. They haven't slammed me with anything too insane. That's good. I might be a little bit far for a uh, a wall. Oh yeah, this is this is terrible. I've put the wall. <laughs> I've put the the wall so far ahead that my spoon shrooms can't even reach the people. So that's you know, not the most helpful. But instead, I'm just gonna move. Yeah, I'm gonna move these guys. Let's put the, I don't know. <laughs> Second, this starts blinking. I'm gonna use a plant food on it. Which I will immediately reclaim. Alright, it's blinking. Pow! Should get rid of those nasty gravestones. Let's work on uh, foom shrooms that are actually in a position that makes sense. Okay. That's messed up, yo. That is messed up. You can't just teleport back here like a jerk. I right, good. His attempts were flawed. Not that, so we got some issues. We're gonna correct these issues. Issues corrected. Start moving these back a little bit. Uh, there is isn't. Oh, he can he can deflect the little guys. Yeah, he's spinning. I don't know. It's been a while since I've shown one of these guys spinning because I'm so careful to take plants that don't allow them to spin. But yeah. <laughs> So, he's not actually... Actually, he is taking damage because he's still attacking. He's the only one there. So, he's taking damage from the Foom Shroom. He is not taking damage from the Little Mushroom. In fact, the Little Mushroom, if anything, is uh, causing damage to this. That being said... Oh, God. That wasn't cool. Gravestones appeared under my uh, plant, so... They just kind of went away. <laughs> or they went forward. They didn't bounce. I think it's possible for them to bounce off the screen if there's, like, no room. But that time they just bounced here, which... That's fine. It's just these four guys are mostly useless. At least these three are. These guys are getting some action. Certainly moving forward here. Just, uh... I mean, not very fast. We're still only at the halfway point. Now let's kill you. Just any place I see, like, heavy... Fortified zombies. I'm just gonna nuke them down like that. Oh, I feel a little bit congested. I hope I'm not getting sick. I feel like I sound congested. I feel like I sound. Con Does that even make sense? Does that make sense? You're definitely heavily fortified. You go away. That's right. Get all the way back. I'm gonna hit you again. Bro oh, Pfft. shouldn't have done that. Doesn't matter though. Top is looking bad. Bottom is looking just fine because spadow. As they say. Now that the walls have fallen, we've got a nice heavy line of foom shrooms that actually makes sense. So that's great. Let's see if I can get that plant food before he eats this. Yep. So, um, how do I protect everything? Let's see, this row is the biggest problem, looks like. This is the second biggest problem. And that row up there looks fine. So I think we're good. Final wave has not come up yet, however. What trials and tribulations. Well, these, these mushrooms also aren't leveled up at all, which, you know. I shouldn't have to rely on that. I, I beat all these stages before levels ended up. I guess the little mushroom is at level 2. But I didn't have the Dark Age stages, so I couldn't just get Dark Age, uh, 
pinatas and things, and I haven't been playing on the side. So in the other stages, you know, by now, some of the things probably would have been ready to level, because I was actually playing ahead. But not so much any mew. Alright, final one. See if I can set up a nice landmine for that jerk. I don't know if it'll be ready in time, but we'll hope. Especially if I delay him. Good. I'm gonna set up a second landmine here. Good. Landmine ready. So, pow, he takes damage. Pow, you go away. Hopefully we kill that. Imp. Is the imp dead? Yes, imp is dead. He should die due to the second landmine. If not, I'm just gonna lose the stage. It'll be fine. <laughs> And he's also thrown his imp, so he should also die due to this once it gets armed. If I need to delay him, I will. But I don't think I do. Uh, I don't know if I did, but that was too close and there was no reason to risk it. Cool. Day 10 complete. Night stages halfway done. Can you believe it already? Craziness. Oh, I got the glasses! I didn't need that dumb pinata to give me things. I got it all myself. <sighs> Alright, well, considering that one, um, <laughs> I feel congested, I don't want to record anymore. And two, that just happened. I think I'm just going to end the episode. Thank you for not turning off my sound ads, you just decided to crash the game this time. So... I guess this is the part where I just say thank you to all my patrons, and <laughs> I guess I'll see you next time when I'm hopefully a lot, uh, hopefully I'm not getting sick, because that would be so lamely timed, but I think I'm okay, I think I just have allergies, there's uh, there's uh, there's some dust, there's always dust, and I'm allergic to the dust, but uh, yeah, later Battle Gardeners.